Hello everybody and welcome to my video tutorial on mastering style templates in Microsoft Word. My name is Jennifer Schlur and today I'll guide you through the process of using style templates to ensure a consistent formatting of your document. Before we begin, let me briefly explain what style templates are. Style templates in Microsoft Word are predefined sets of formatting options that you can directly apply to your document to maintain a consistent and professional look. They include fonts, colors, spacing and more. By default, Microsoft Word already contains several predefined style templates for first and second order headlines, for quotes or special emphasis. However, the built-in styles might not fully meet your needs in all cases. Therefore, it is possible to modify these existing templates and also to create your new ones yourself. Click on the New Style button in the Style pane, create a new one, name it, customize it as you like by adjusting fonts, spacing and more. But this is what I have already done for you. You can access all required templates in the Styles pane. For the current paper, all relevant styles include KUP, K-U-P, in their name. To access them, open the pre-formatted template that I have shared with you. Navigate to the Home tab on the ribbon and there you'll find the Styles pane. By clicking on the down arrow, you can see the available styles and select the required ones as needed. For example, you can find the style templates for first order and second order headlines, for figure captions, footnotes and many more. To navigate and utilize these styles more easily, you can click on the small arrow in the right hand corner and then the list of all available styles will open in a small window or column in your Word document, as you can see here. There, you can directly recognize the relevant styles by the word CUP at the end of the style name. The remaining ones are those that are the default styles of Microsoft Word and usually cannot be deleted from that list. That is why they still appear here, but please ignore them. Only use those that have CUP in their style name. Now, let me show how you apply the required styles to your document. Basically, there are two ways. First, you directly write into this template. However, as you insert new paragraphs or new sections or new tables and figures, the simple replacement of the sample text might not be enough to meet your needs. Therefore, I recommend option 2, which also works best when you insert information from other documents or write new sections. You simply highlight the passages that you want to change, click on the desired style in the Styles pane, and see as the formatting changes instantly. For example, to insert a new headline, just choose the relevant style from the list. The same applies to all other parts of the paper. Altogether, in the Styles pane, we have presets for the title of the paper, the author line, the headline of the abstract, of the author information and the acknowledgement, the text of the author information and acknowledgement, the first paragraph of a section, for example of the abstract or of any other text that is directly below a headline, a table, a quote or a figure. The text of all other paragraphs that comes after the first paragraph of a section is second paragraph cup. Please apply it to all relevant paragraphs. Moreover, we have style templates for first order headlines, 
second order headlines, long quotes that contain more than 40 words, numbered lists, and if you need bullet point lists, just change the type of list here. Furthermore, we have predefined style templates for footnotes, references, figure captions, and table headings. In case you have written your first draft in a separate document that did not use the current style templates, the procedure will be as follows. For demonstration, I'll use the text from one of my previous publications. In case you are interested in that publication, here's the citation information for this open access publication. By looking at the document, you will see that the formatting differs from the required style. So, how can we change this? To copy the text, press the Ctrl and C key on your keyboard. And to insert it, press Ctrl and V at the desired position in the templates document. For example, the paper title. In the options menu of my Microsoft Word, I have already set use formatting of target as the default. However, in your default settings, it might look differently, leading to a formatting that looks like this. By holding the control key, you can easily change this. Just choose formatting of target or copy text only, and then the relevant style will apply. Alternatively, you simply select the required style from the list. In this case, it is first paragraph cup. You can also easily mark several paragraphs at once and apply the right style. However, please note that italics or bolding might get lost then. Same for the references. So, to keep italics and other formatting details of your text, only click at the beginning of the line to apply the style. You can also copy styles from an already formatted paragraph or passage by using this icon. Remember to use APA citation style by the American Psychological Association in its most recent version for this chapter. Before you submit your chapter, make sure that all paragraphs, headlines and references are formatted with the correct styles. You can check this by clicking on the different parts of the paper and see whether the appropriate styles appear as marked on the list. In the end, the use of style templates can save you time, maintain consistency and give your documents a polished look. So, in future papers, you can likewise experiment with defining your own styles that best suit your needs. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments or by contacting me. Thanks for watching and happy formatting!